taking a walk, giving a lecture, playing a musical instrument, reciting a literary work. Nothing seems out of the ordinary here. But have you ever thought about doing any of these in space? Chinese taikonaut Wang Yaping has done them all. While fulfilling her duties as a deputy to the National People's Congress, she also manages to keep a decent work-life balance in space. So how exactly does she do it? And what's life like for an astronaut? Let's have a space link with Wang to find out. Chen 吸引更多人加入到航天强国、航天报国的梦想征途中。Thank you, Yaping. Yaping and two other male crew members, Dai Zhigang and Ye Guangfu, were sent into China's space station core module Tianhe on October 16th, 2021, for a six-month stay. The trial has been in orbit for more than 140 days, with Wen setting a record for the most days in space by a Chinese hikonaut. From the moon, to Mars. From unmanned planet roaming to manned space missions, China's space exploration has been helping unlock a deeper understanding of the universe. Last year saw new progress such as the construction of China's space station, the Tianwen-1 Mars mission, and the examination of lunar samples brought back by the Channel 5 probe. Let's talk to Dr. David Flannery of Queensland University of Technology and Austrian astrophysicist Gernot Romer to see their take on China's space exploration. I think the Chinese Space Agency has had amazing success with Moon and Mars exploration, with the exploration of the Moon and the return of samples from the Moon, which has been an impressive technology demonstration. And now with the successful um, commissioning of the orbiter, the Tianwen orbiter and the Tianwen rover, um, it's been very impressive. And I'm hopeful that it'll be the start of a, a much larger um, Mars exploration program from the Chinese Space Agency. China has demonstrated a massive evolution in the space services sector and exploration projects. The scale and the performance are impressive. We saw Chinese rovers on the moon, the first Chinese Mars rover successfully roaming the red planet, and a solid and sustainable space station program. I personally was surprised by the speed how the Chinese space activities evolved. Thank you for your insight. China's space industry has made great achievements in recent years. From 2016 to December 2021, 207 launch missions were completed, including 183 by the Long March Carrier Rocket Series. In September 2016, China launched its first space lab, Tiangong 2. In January 2019, its Channel 4 mission made the world's first ever soft landing on the far side of the moon, which marks a milestone in humanity's lunar exploration. In June 2020, China launched the last satellite of the Beidou Navigation Satellite System, marking the completion of its own global navigation network. In May 2021, China landed its Mars probe Tianwen-1 on the Red Planet, ushering in a new chapter of China's deep space exploration. With such achievements and through ever-increasing support from both the government and society, Experts expect Chinese researchers to make even greater breakthroughs and collaborate more with the international community. I think that they have, uh, in China, you have a, a very dedicated and very highly qualified engineers and scientists that have been working on this mission for a long time. Uh, you also have a, a very strong political support for the space program, which I think is also important. Um, and you have very skilled institutions in having the different technologies. And uh, so I think that we will be able in the coming years to find ways to cooperate 
uh, in order to explore better and do it together. Uh, between ESA and the Chinese Academy of Sciences, we have already a very, very nice uh, cooperation program. China released a white paper titled China Space Program, a 2021 perspective in January this year. For the first time, the white paper on China's space industry puts forward the concept of a community with a shared future for mankind in outer space. The white paper said China will work actively with other countries to carry out international space exchanges and cooperation, safeguard outer space security, and strive for long-term sustainability in activities related to outer space. This has been warmly welcomed by scientists. And I think that the, uh, uh, I think space cooperation is something which is very important because it also creates bridges. Uh, it creates bridges between Europe and China. We learn how to work together. Uh, I think this is as a fantastic, uh, I think it's a stabilizing effect also. We explore space together as humans, not only as individual countries. Hence, we need to ensure a harmonious cooperation and avoid a gold rush in space. You know, Space offers almost unlimited resources when it comes to energy or to minerals, for instance, whilst offering a neutral platform for international collaboration. China's two sessions are in full swing now, and experts around the world are paying close attention. Where is China's space industry is going? What are the key areas of development? Let's talk to Wu Weiren, chief designer of China's Lunar Exploration Program, and Hu Shengyun, chief model designer of China Sanjiang Space Group, for 在这方面有研究的这个着急人才，同时我们面向国际，啊，我们希望能够吸引国际上一些人才到这个实验室来工作。深空探测这是一个和平的事业，是人类共同的事业。我们去年二一年，咱们一年发现了很多次，这个发现